Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Let's Play video. And this is part 182 of my Let's Play series. And in this video today, I am going to be doing some more work on my bedroom. So I did figure out a couple things off camera that I would do for my bedroom, and I also have a small little update on the room behind here. Now I did review your guys' suggestions, and... I think I have a completely different direction. So after telling you guys that I want your guys' suggestions for this room, I thought of an idea myself for this room before any of you guys even said anything. But that was mainly my fault because I said that in future videos and I pre-record, so that's partially my fault. But anyways, this room is going to be kind of like a holiday room. So for each different holiday, I think I'm actually going to decorate the room accordingly based off of that specific holiday. And then don't worry, your guys' suggestions are not going to go to waste because I do have actually more space in this um, mansion that I can use, including that extra space in the basement. So whatever your guys' suggestions end up being, I could use it for that empty space down there. So if we come up to our room, as you can tell, nothing's really changed. God, it is nighttime. I'm telling you guys, every single time I record, it's nighttime. Every single time. So let's go ahead and get started on the building for this. I know I'm doing this at night, but I don't have a bed on me. So yeah. So you guys may have remembered a long time ago when I used to make that path that goes around my world that I used to use stairs instead of blocks because I always have an excess of stairs for some reason. So I know that probably makes a lot of you guys cringe just seeing me do this, but here we go. That's right. I am using stairs for flooring. I know, I know, It, may, like I said, it may make a lot of you guys cringe, but it's only for the best, you know, it's only because my material supply is not the greatest, and even though, even though stone brick is a very easy material to get, I still think that I should use the remaining stairs that I have left over, and also you may have noticed that, <laughs> In the last video, I put the stairs all the way down to here, which was stupid of me because I don't want the flooring to be an ugly mismatch of four different blocks. So we're just going to make it one single block, and then it's going to be oak because I have an excess of it, and it doesn't look bad either, and I really haven't used oak a ton in this build. I mean, out of most woods that I have access to, mind you. Of course, I don't have access to uh, jungle, acacia, or dark oak, those three I have yet to find in this world and probably don't even exist in this world, as far as I know. Um, I know they don't exist. I've already explored like 80% of this world and I know they don't exist. But, you know, I only have three wood types that I have access to. Three, birch, spruce, and oak. So unfortunately, I don't have a very diverse wood selection, so this is kind of what I'm gonna have to deal with. I just figured out a really good use for these upside down stairs. Use them as railings for the main stairs. I mean, this looks pretty good. I like this design. I don't think I've done this before yet, so I think that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm out of stairs because I used them all in the flooring. Yep, I knew it would have a consequence, but that's okay because, I mean, stone bricks are easy to get. I'm just too lazy to get more cobblestone right now. <laughs> and I had a lot in my inventory. Well, I didn't have a lot, but I had a, quite a bit of stone bricks. I figured I'm, or stone brick stairs getting my words jumbled up, my blocks mixed up. So I was able to use those up for the stairs and the flooring. And I do like the design of the upside down stairs kind of peeking out like that too. I really like that. And of course in the middle here, as I've mentioned before, I'm gonna put a fountain of some sort or some sort of water feature. It may not necessarily be a fountain, but it will be a water feature. There's actually gonna be another water feature in my bedroom too. There's gonna be two. One is going to be the fountain, as I already mentioned, but another one is going to be much more grand. I already teased this in a previous video, but I feel like I might as well just reveal what it is today. And I'm going to hold this bucket of water, and I'm going to go over... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Of course, when I talk about water, it starts raining. I feel like at every episode... Because it rained in the last video, too, I think. Anyways, there's your hint to what this is going to be. Yep. And just imagine this whole thing's filled with water. Well, that basically gives you an idea of what it's already going to be, so I might as well just say it right now on camera. It is going to be the one and only Gen Space Gaming Pool. Actually, it's not the one and only because I already have one located at my old house. Well, this will be the better 
Gen Space Gaming Pool. That's what I'm going to call this. The Better Gen Space Gaming Pool. I've got a nice little water glitch there. So, unfortunately, I don't have... Actually, I have a ton of iron, so I might as well just go get another water bucket. So, yeah. Let's go do that real quick. Now, I have the iron... Oh! There's a bucket in here. Well, that's convenient enough for me. So, we'll just go ahead and use that. And then, I can actually make an infinite water source with this. So that is just perfect, and that painting is still missing. I know, I know. That's probably going to be one of those things that I never, ever fix. So, yeah. But the exterior, no updates. I mean, it's just a big wall of spruce. There will be detail on this eventually. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to do most of it off camera, though, because it is going to be boring. And there isn't going to be a whole lot either. I'm not going to add a whole lot of detail, because I want to use my materials wisely here. I don't want to use up all my materials in the exterior, when that's going to be the part that I see the least amount. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a quick little infinite water source here. Definitely one of the few infinite water sources made out of... Oh, no! Oh, wait! Oh, I need to weigh a little bit, because my... Uh, whoa, what is going on here? Is this an infinite water source? Or is it just glitched because I'm using the boot NTR? Yeah, it must be that. So <laughs> the glitched water is still... I can walk over it and it's not even water. What if I place a block? Well, it instantly disappears. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and place down... I don't really care about the spruce on the sides personally. You're really not going to tell all that much. Oh, that's a horrible idea. I should probably start from the bottom and work my way up. I've done this stuff before. I should have known that. Huh. Well, let's go and start from the bottom then. Um, ooh, I do want to place another quart. Oh, conveniently, I have three quarts in my inventory. Well, isn't that just great? So now I can place my single quarts there and fill that in. And then that way I can place down these two water buckets here to get started on the water. So now we have a mini pool. It kind of exists in a way, but not really. And the infinite water source has come back. I'm scared to do it again because I'm afraid that it's... Oh. Oh. It just went to the other side. That's a little weird. But at least it works. So that's all that matters. I'll probably do this off camera because doing this with Boon NTR apparently sucks. Just like a lot of things with using Boon NTR. It apparently sucks at... Or a lot of things apparently suck with Boon NTR. Such as exploring, loading in chunks. It absolutely hates that because... Chunks just load extremely slowly, as evident from my previous exploration adventure. You guys probably were experiencing pain while watching that, and I was experiencing pain while making it, because this recording style, like every single recording style for 3DS content, has its own set of flaws. Every one of them does. Citra is not stable. Boot NTR, while it is stable, it's slow. Of course, then you have the traditional style of recording your 3DS with a regular camera, and that has a major downside of just your video quality just not looking the greatest compared to, you know, recording normally. Or not normally, I should say, but recording, you know, with a emulator or a custom built-in software. I would think that a wireless, not a wireless, but a regular capture card would definitely make for the best experience when it comes to recording definitely would offer the best quality frame rate and smoothness i would think but unfortunately traditional capture cards cost an arm and a leg and i just don't have the kind of money to be spending that much on it years ago when people used to ask me to purchase a capture card they were like around 600 dollars, 400 on the low end maybe around 600 if you went for a more expensive one that was maybe like you, it shipped faster, or maybe the qual. I don't know about the, like the quality, but like how it varies between m several models. But now, not only is it really hard to find a capture card at all, you know, on eBay or whatever else, they're so expensive, like thousands. You can. I found one one time. This was a couple months ago. It was $1,200 for a new 3DS capture card. And for that one, they would give you a system. But there was ones, there was like one listing that I found where you could physically send in your system. Th that isn't as common anymore, though. If, you're, if you are going to buy a capture card right now, 80% of the listings you'll find, probably more like 90%, 
are systems that people will physically send to you, not custom system, not cut, not custom, but like not systems that you send to them that they put the software on. So, oh, look at that. I have two. Oh my God. I have lapis in here too. Well, that's just perfect right there. Another convenient thing in this video. Well, that is just absolutely incredible. You know what that means? I can make two blue wool and put another two blue wool in my 5k room. Boom. Added like 1% on the progress on that. I should have done yellow. I'm so close with the yellow. One, two, three, four. Oh, I need like six or seven left. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, so yeah, about the capture cards. It's just, unfortunately, it's basically impossible to find a capture card these days that's affordable. Is basically what I'm getting at. So that's why I kind of have to use these other methods of recording instead. They each have, the, like I said earlier, they each have their own set of disadvantages that make them equally frustrating you know like i would say the best method overall is the traditional way of recording your 3ds with your camera because then you will have absolutely zero stability issues to speak of and you'll have the overall best playing experience but the recording is going to look the absolute worst because you're using your regular camera it does it's not like it looks really bad but you can make it look good. But sadly, sometimes that's just not the case. So that's why I prefer these other methods more. Like Citra, for example, which is the emulator that I used to use, and I actually still use it for my Skyblock Let's Play. The only reason why I do is because there's much less stuff to load. It has a stability issue, a major stability issue. And like I said, Boot NTR is slow. So they each have their own set of disadvantages, sadly. So anyways, in the next video, I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe do something different or I will do some off camera work. I'll get the pool done off camera and then I'll show that in the next video and then I'll do actually physically something interesting in my bedroom. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and conclude it for this video and thanks for watching.